Uh, are people who say, like Jason, for example, I didn't get a chance to talk to him very long, mm -hmm. but did you find people like him and the other people who are coming in to, to visit, are they interested specifically in this neighborhood right now? Where, do you find people who are looking all over the city? You know what? I have found that they are looking all over the city. Mm -hmm. uh, Jason, for instance, um, relocated to Chicago. He's in the uh, finance business. He came from Ohio. We have other people that recently moved in that are from Indiana. <clears throat> and um, so we find that the buyers are looking and they're exploring various neighborhoods. Um, I think the quality sort of cemented the deal here. The um, extra service and the extra attention from the developer um, and the quality of the building um, and meeting with a developer was a key component of uh, you know that decision making process and I think a seasoned agent in this environment because it seems like I've gone through a thousand different environments there are always opportunities mm -hmm. so even though a lot of the people feel that um, the market has hit the toilet and all of that I think you can still find in any market value and as long as you're educated and you can educate the buyer there are always opportunities okay. and that's been the case here. These would have been a lot more money if it was a different market. Trust me. <laughs> what is the, uh, the current price range of the available units right now, roughly? We have uh, three bedroom units available at four hundred and thirteen thousand. Uh, they include French doors and just very dramatic spaces. And then the average two bedroom, two bath is in the. 350, 370 range. Are you finding that among what new construction there is around here in that, this area, is that pretty well representative of the price range you're seeing right now? Is it a little higher, a little lower? Where, it where is, is it representative. Um, and also a tad lower. Um, his overhead, because they have their own crews, uh, translates into savings for the purchaser. Okay. So. Well, we're here in uh, the master bedroom, and uh, there is an attached, I guess, closet space. And it's a dressing area transition into the master bath. Can you tell us about some of the finishes we're seeing? You know, all of the granite is the inch and a quarter. Uh, all of the fixtures throughout the building are growy, as are the accessories, towel bars. The master has a large steam shower with a bench with the spa um, sprays. Frameless shower doors, I mean top of the line finishes. Um, also the mirrors, the lighting, all represent just uh, something that's a little bit different than the Builder Series. And these are all would this be the standard? This is all standard. There, is, there are no upgrades here. Okay. We specifically did not want to tell a buyer, um, here's what you're looking at, but if you want to duplicate this in your unit, it's going to cost you twenty, thirty thousand mm dollars -hmm. more. Which is another uh, nice thing uh, that I found working with uh, Delphi Ventures is um, our models are representative of what the buyer actually gets. So, okay. There's no confusion here. What you see is what you get. Among the available units, how uh, soon would somebody be able to move in? Immediately. Immediately? Okay. Yeah. Other than um, So are they going appliances? ahead and just finishing everything oh, out Oh, yes. Right now? Because, again, and this is, I think, key to stress, they're not undercapitalized. And many times they work with their own money. So they're not tied to um, the market conditions and the lending uh, conditions or restrictions. Okay. All right. 
so we're, we're good. Up on the roof now. Yeah. We're stepping up onto the rooftop deck. This is is this something that everyone will have access to? Everyone will have access to and all right. even for beer cans he thought of. Hey, all right. Yeah. <laughs> this is absolutely magnificent in the evening. It's a nice skyline view. The area has been down zoned, so you're not going to see any um, high buildings that are going to impede um, the view here. And that, of course, is the famous Graceland Cemetery. When this is in full bloom, it's absolutely magnificent. Get a full 360 panorama here. Yeah. All right. And we actually had people from across the street that watched this building go up that have bought in here. Really? What are some of the draws you're seeing of the neighborhood itself right now? The uh, what? The, the, the draws for the neighborhood. I think general. the draws is the location. I think that um, shopping, restaurants, um, proximity to not only Lakeshore Drive, but the park and the lake, um, access to public transportation. Um, you know, and just the historic nature of this um, neighborhood of historic Buena Park has been, uh, you know, a big plus as well. All right. Well, great. Well, thank you very much.